Alrighty, wow, so Taurus had a crazy shit going on. <laughs> okay, let's get this, let's finish this out here. Um, I'm Genesis Montero, nice to meet you. Um, I'm getting my mid-month, um, to the end of July readings finished, okay? Um, next up we have Gemini. Gemini. Anyways. <laughs> All right, let's go with this situation. Um, if y'all are new to my channel, um, check out my Instagram, Genesis Montero. I do free personal readings every single day. Usually, I get on live in um, in the evenings and do them. Okay, if you can't, have, if you don't have time to get on live, you can just tell me what kind you want, and I can um, DM it, DM it to you, or email it to you. Okay, it's it's time to take action. Wow, that's the same card that that uh. Torsha side. That's weird. Anyways, don't let pride get in your way. So, so it's time to take action. Full moon in Aries. And don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. Let's get two cards here. I've been up since 7 a.m. Doing laundry and everything else. <laughs> trying to get my little apartment straightened up. Trying to get everything done here. With these readings. We have pay attention to the red flags for it's time to take action. Somebody might be fixing to leave somebody. Stay optimistic about your love life or don't let pride get in your way. Overall energy, very... So, Taurus and Gemini, I'm feeling like y'all got the same thing going on here. Let's let's hope that's not the case. That's kind of crazy if it is. All right, let's pull some cards here. Spirit, what would you like Gemini to know? Oh, shit. About their love life for mid-month to the end of July, please. Gemini to know... For mid month to the end of July, please. Get them cards here. If you not, we'll just take these. See what they are. I have no idea. All right. Temperance. I want. I hope this is two of ones. I'm, these new cards are so hot, kind of hot. The world. All right. Spirit, tell me more, please. What do you need, <clears throat> Gemini, to know for the mid-month to the end of July for their love life? Oh, Lord. Okay, who the hell is this? I'm scared. Let me look this up real fast. This is a brand new deck of cards here. I just got yesterday. I want to know who in the hell is that. Because. I'm almost scared to ask. Okay. I want to let this here to read this to y'all. Okay. Um. Spirit, what else would you like Gemini to know for the mid-month of the end of July? My hands are so tiny. <laughs> for mid-month of the end of July, please. For Gemini, please. God. King of Wands. So, that's, wow. I'm starting to feel like y'all are going to have a lot of the same situation that Taurus had. And their spread, which was insane. How many swords is this? Shit, I don't know. One, two, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six of swords. These pictures are really big. And one more here. The three of wands in reverse. Okay. Three of wands in reverse. Overall energy is the Queen of Wands. So we got a whole couple here, don't we? Yes, there's a couple here. King of Wands. There's a lot of fire energy here in this kitchen spread. A lot. All right, guys, here we go. So we have Temperance, the Two of Wands, the World, Santa Muerta, Santa Muerta, King of Wands. Six of swords in reverse, three of wands in reverse, and then the queen of wands for the overall energy. So, I feel like, um, I feel like y'all, 
y'all are definitely um, um, having some courage right now for whatever you are going through, okay? I feel like y'all probably are going through it because it says pay attention to the red flag. It's time to take action. Don't let pride get in your way and stay optimistic. So, Gemini, I think y'all are going through some kind of situation for sure right now. You're feeling like you need to have courage um, to get through it, okay? I feel like y'all are very determined, though, even though there is something clearly going on. Um, so, temperance is about having balance, okay, in between a situation. I feel like, um, not balance, I'm sorry, uh, having patience. Um, well, no, it is. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. My mind, y'all must be confused because I feel confused right now. <laughs> Anyways, it's about having balance and patience. So, y'all are definitely having patience right now for the situation y'all are in, okay? Um, for the two of ones, um, y'all are definitely planning on leaving your home situation, okay? Um, but y'all want to, okay? Because you know once you do, then you're going to have this, the world, you're going to feel complete, okay? Now, set some words beside this. Let me see what this says. It says, a profound transformation, a renewal, a true and proper revolution. If it is life that generates death, then death generates life. We are connected to all that surrounds us, to the people we have who have become before us, and to those who will come from the cradle to the tomb, from the coffin to the womb, in a conditional, condition, in a continual exchange, and a continual regeneration, not of opposites, but of complementary elements. St. Marta brings with it new projects, changes, cuts, and necessary, necessary abandonment of what we keep stationary and tangled, like the past or suffocating ties. They're not always pain-free, but they can bring um, trauma, anger, violence, and loss. So, basically, right now, y'all are fixing to let go of somebody and walk away from somebody that was very, very, very important in your life at one time, Okay. I think that's why this King of Wands, Queen of Wands and King of Wands, because it's a couple, okay? I think at one time, y'all probably had a lot of passion between y'all, um, but it's not there anymore. It's gone now. Um, you're, you're passionate about moving forward, but you're not passionate about this person anymore, okay? Um, There is some unresolved issues and emotional baggage, I think, that's going to be left behind after you do this, though. But initially, um, you're still, there's going to be some delays, too, and you're frustrated about that. But let's get, let's clarify this. Why is the King of Wands here, Spirit? Why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands here, Spirit? <clears throat> I'm going to be honest I'm happy for y'all, though, because this is a huge deal, what you're doing right now. And I know that it's scary, but, you know, it's best It's best to do. I mean, you, it's clear you need to. Wheel of Fortune. So, yes, this change is going to happen, no matter if you want it to or not. It's part of what you have to go through. Um, It's telling you to stay optimistic, though. And not to let pride get in your way. So maybe, let's find out. Why Why is Gemini scared of this change and confused? Why is Gemini scared of this change and confused? <clears throat> I feel like y'all are trying to stay unemotional over this whole thing, okay? I also feel like that... Um, Y'all are very, very scared of this whole situation changing. I think y'all are very scared to let go of this person, even though you know you need to. Um, I think y'all are going to still, that's for sure. Um, but I think you're stalling in a way. I think that something needs to be said, though, to this person, too. I think you're wanting to speak up and say a lot of stuff to this person. That, and I also feel like it's going to be some harsh truths. But you're trying to keep your um, head in it. You're up in your head about it a lot instead of being emotional about it. Why is the King of Swords here? I mean, this is definitely you. You know, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra Energy. This is definitely you here. Stalling the situation. Why is, why is Gemini stalling the situation, Spirit? Tell me more about this, please. Why is Gemini stalling? Oh, oh my God. Okay, listen. 
I normally don't do, like, I, and a lot of people don't do this, okay? But if I'm sitting there doing this and a bunch of cards flip over right now, I'm going to read for them, okay? I feel like there's a reason why they come out. I mean, if it's a lot, okay? Whoo, Lord, guys. Okay. So, I feel like that you are healing from something that happened, okay? We've got the four wands right beside, in the reverse right beside the Ten of Cups. So, this is definitely somebody that you were with at one point, or you're still with it, but you at one point thought they were the best thing ever for you, okay? I feel like that is completely gone now, though. I feel like... Um, I feel like this person now has become somebody that's possessive and stingy and even greedy, possibly, okay? But I feel like you know that you need to get past that because you're wanting to have your Ten of Cups, okay? I feel like that, um... I feel like, in a way, though, it's it's like... You're still obsessive with the situation to some reason. Why? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Oh, Lord. Yeah, you're still possessive over this person, even though you know that you need to leave and want to leave, okay? Um... But you definitely do. You're wanting to move on and find some... You're wanting to move on to somebody else and have um, a fresh start with somebody else here. Okay? I think you're quickly wanting to, actually. There's a couple here again. So, this is all, you got Queen of Wands, King of Wands, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. You are wanting to let go of this so badly. Okay? You really, really do. Um... Why is the Ace of Swords here, Spirit? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Because you're wanting to be happy. You know if you don't let this person go, Gemini, that you're not going to be happy until you do. The thing is, I, I just don't know how long it's going to be before you do. Let's pull a card and see if we can get a time frame here, okay, for you. You're in this Queen of Wands energy, though. Determination. You're determined to somehow figure out a way to let this go. Spirit, give me one card here for Gemini for a time frame of when they're gonna eventually get when they're eventually gonna let this situation go. So I need to stay off the pit stick. Give me one card for a time frame here, Spirit, when this is gonna happen. From Gemini's situation for mid month to the end of July, please. Let their love off. One card, please, for a time frame. When we can see Gemini finally letting go of this situation, please, Spirit. The star in reverse. You're so discouraged and insecure about this. Let me pull this up and see what time frame that, that stands for. Okay. It's going to be the star... Oh, God. January 21st to February 20th is in reverse, though. I wonder if that matters. What would be the reverse of that? Let's pull more card here and see what it says. Spirit, one more card here for a time frame for Jim and I leaving this situation. Oh, my God. And say we get two. Oh, my Lord, Jesus. Okay, the star. And they're both in reverse. The Pinnacles and Cups. So I'm starting to feel like this is saying that it's going to be any time. Like it's it's like an in, it's like a, a up in the air thing, an up in the air kind of situation. Okay, that's exactly what I'm getting from that. That's the message I'm getting from that situation right there. Okay, I don't think there's I don't think there is a time frame because you don't really know yet still because you're so just like all over the place with it. Okay, Spirit is telling you that you need to. Okay, Spirit's telling you that you need to that you're not going to be happy until you do. You know this off already yourself, um, and, um, 
until you do it, you're not going to be happy. So, if, I mean, it, it is what it is. Alrighty. Remember to check out my Instagram, guys. She just says Montero. Every day free. Personal readings done. I get on live every single day at night, usually. Y'all have a good day. Thank you.